Uh, New Horizons Band is the official name of this, this program. It was started by a professor in Eastman College several years ago. It was his idea that, that people maybe want to play again who haven't played for a long time, or people who want to play for the very first time, or just some people who want to experience music. And so he started uh, the New Horizons program in, at Eastman College. Uh, there are over 200 of these units in the United States now. We are one, and so our name is Snake River New Horizons Band. And whatever they do, they have to have New Horizons Band in their name somewhere. Uh -huh. And uh, it's just, it's a program that you see happening all over the United States. It's, it's exciting for people who are older and want to play something either for the first time or again. Mm -hmm. And I'd just like to add, the reason that we chose Snake River New Horizons Band is because people come from outside mm -hmm. Pocatello to participate. We have a member from Lava, I think McCammon, Blackfoot, so it's not just Pocatello that participates. Mm -hmm. um, anybody is welcome to do it. And also, we've had exchange students th um, mm. from ISU that have participated with us, too. Tell us a little bit about the Snake River New Horizons Band. Well, we are functioning under the umbrella of the New Knowledge Adventures program in um, Pocatello. It's a continuing education program through Idaho State University for members that are 50 and over that want to continue learning. And we offer like uh, over 100 classes per semester. The Snake River New Horizons Band is just one program under that umbrella. having pre previous experience. Does everybody have previous experience like you do? Not necessarily. I think there's uh, one lady who is 72 and she is, she is a pianist. She, she can read music. And she wanted to learn how to play the trombone, so she started playing the trombone and from scratch. And, and our conductors have been teaching her. And it's great for anybody. We also had a flute player that started from scratch. She heard us play at a concert and she just wanted to learn how to play. And she didn't read music, so she started from learning the notes and she's playing now with the band and it's been wonderful for her, she loves it. So someone can walk in, not ever pl reading music, playing an instrument, and somebody helps them to that next step? Right. That's correct. We've hired some uh, college students to help teach those that don't know the music. And sometimes some of the members of the band will go in and help those people, especially if they don't read music, to, to learn the notes. And then we go from there. I had played um, in junior high in uh, the clarinet, but I'd always wanted to play the flute and never had. But when I was teaching sixth grade, the sixth grade band program always came and practiced in my classroom. And I, I kept thinking, well, if these kids are learning, maybe the band instructor will let me pick up an instrument. And I 
casually had mentioned it to my husband. I didn't mention it to my husband, but I had mentioned it. He overheard it and surprised me with a flute for Christmas. Oh. And I needed to find a place to learn how to play it, so found out about this program, and it's been wonderful. And the rest is history. The rest is history. <laughs> <laughs>
any place people will let us. Primarily we want to take our music to people who don't have an opportunity to hear things or be able to get out much. So we do a lot of, of uh, assisted living, uh, nursing homes, uh, places like that where people can come in and we play for them. We just, we just did uh, yesterday, the uh, Flag Day, we uh, performed at the Veterans uh, Home up on Alvin Rickon Drive oh, for, uh -huh. for folks up there. So we aren't really into the performance per se, we just want to take our music out to the people in the, in the community. We've also done several um, c concerts, I guess, at um, conventions. People invite us to come. We did the medical technology convention from uh, that was held at Idaho State University this spring. Um, we've done we've done a wedding. We've done several weddings actually. And what we do is we ask those people to donate to our cause so we can purchase music. So Marie, how long did it take you to learn the flute? Well, it, the thing of it is, I, I guess it depends on how willing you are to put forth the effort. I know, um, I, I at least had read music. I know the flute player that she's talking about, she was able within four months to be playing with us and, and doing really quite well. And is, So it's just a matter of putting forth the effort and we've got some great conductors that really help us out a lot. And it's, it's, it's a matter of what you are willing to put forth. I think the bottom line is that anybody who has the interest and the, the effort will take anybody. We're not snotty or snobby about it. <laughs> Marjean, you said something about hiring some people. That means you have to have money. How do you do? How do you well, pay for these people? We actually, because this is music, and we really want to learn how to do and play well. Um, we actually ask for donations from our members, and they donate um, $25 a month, and we actually do pay our two conductors. Um, and we've done that since the get-go simply because we really couldn't get anybody to volunteer to do something like that week after week, month after month, yeah, year after year. Yeah, it's a, it's a real year. commitment. It is a commitment. Mm -hmm. We have two excellent uh, folks that are our conductors, uh, a young man by the name of Casey Emerson who just got the Highland High School band um, job and he's been working at Hawthorne Middle School for the last three years and has just been wonderful and he started from the very beginning helping us. And then Beth Buxton is a brand new graduate um, from ISU. I think she may even have her master's, but she got a job in Grace, Idaho as the music teacher and the last year she was commuting back and forth to Grace, she rushes back on Tuesday night just to conduct us at, and walks in about 25 after 5 and we start <laughs> at 5.30.